pennies. I was a legacy champion, fighting guys, uh, getting matched with guys like Demacio Page, 25 and 25. You want to talk about uh, unfair fighter pay? Let's talk about what's happening outside of the UFC. Even these guys in Bellator, like I know they have some prospects that they pay well, but 90% of the guys who fight on that night are making a thousand and a thousand. Don't talk to me about that. It's preposterous. I, I also think it's it's woefully uh, dishonest that Francis Ngannou is running around acting like he only made six hundred thousand dollars. I know for a fact he got pay-per-view points. He got comp he, he got uh, paid for Reebok. He got paid for this, paid for that. He probably made I'm I'm not gonna say it, but way more than six hundred thousand dollars. So, I mean. Of course, I want to make more money. Everybody wants to make more money. I'll go out there and fight for it. And, you know, to, to compare the UFC to the NFL is also preposterous. Yes. On, on, a, on a slow Sunday, the NFL uh, grosses $1 billion. Mm -hmm. They had 60 million people tune in to Joe Burrow versus uh, Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. 60 million. What's a, what's a good UFC pay-per-view sell for? 500K. 500K. A, a million? Oh, we're killing it. So like, we're coming along, it's coming along, but it's, it's really dishonest what people are talking about, and dude, I mean, of course, I want more money, everybody wants more money. You're but. preaching to the choir here, like I agree, like the NFL, MLB, NBA, they've established themselves. Don't, don't compare the UFC yet to the big three. They, that's, they're, they're toddlers that's compared crazy. to them. That's crazy, and yeah. it's, it's coming along. It is, but. listen, especially with the ESPN and the Disney, like, you know, NFL, MLB, they have been signed like all, with all these major media companies a long time ago. The UFC just got it. So for me, I'm like, for me, the Francis Ngannou thing is, you can't have some like someone like Conor McGregor, right, making five million dollars if he's fighting once he's getting negative PR, everything. Then when you look at Francis Ngannou, he's the baddest man on the planet, right? He's always delivering the show that you need. Okay, pay him. Like, okay, there's like, there, it's it, okay. There are like, okay, there's always going to be the. Uh, gray area details that we don't know where he makes the extra money but if you're going to carry the title the scary the baddest man on the planet you know the man that can take you out in a matter of seconds i think you know it's well deserved and after, i agree i agree i'm not going to be able to push back on that not but like for the jake paul thing not everybody deserves to get paid more but you know, okay poirier these guys you know, diaz these guys that are established that move the needle mm -hmm. these guys deserve the money yeah, yes they right? deserve the so, money but are you going to tell me that a debutante somebody with for instance, uh, what, what's uh, Randy Costa came into the UFC with four fights. You're telling me he deserves $50,000 with four fights under his belt? 90% of the UFC's roster they are losing money on. No doubt about it. And again, I want to make more money. Everybody wants to make more money. I'll go out there and I'll earn it. And, you know, I, I'm not one of these guys who is like, oh, we need to, we need to do this. We need to, what is it, fighters. I don't want a fighters union. I appreciate the opportunity to negotiate for myself. I'll sit down at the table and negotiate for myself. I don't want somebody else negotiating for everybody else's uh, bullshit. I don't care. I want uh, people to make more money. Absolutely. But people debuting 12 and 12, that's, a, that's an awfully nice payday compared to what they've been making. Yeah, I mean, and, it makes and sense. Listen, uh, I'm all for people making more money, but, but I'm also a guy who believes in uh, merit and, and you gain merit by getting in here and winning the fights mm -hmm. if you don't win the fights you get cut if you do win the fights make your way up fight often do what you're supposed to do you make the money except Sam Malvey he can lose how many times he wants <laughs> <laughs> hey sometimes yeah some guys I feel like he has the magic uh, some but, sort of well let me tell you this being a decent person and, and, and being nice and treating people with respect it goes a lot further than you think it does. And when I'm here, like I get cranky with some of these guys, sure, but I always try to at least apologize. You know, I'm, I'm low on calories. It's been a long week, mm -hmm. what have you. But, uh, you know, treat people with respect. Do your best. Uh, be, be as nice as you can in the moment. Like, of course, you've got to step up at points and, and uh, you know, fight for, fight for yourself, negotiate for yourself. But you know, ultimately, I, I appreciate the opportunities that I've gained from the UFC. And, uh, I'm not a fucking sycophant either, but I've, I've fought outside of this promotion. I've, I've been on a seven fight win streak, making pennies. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about what everybody else is paying, you know? Get out of here with this nonsense. And all these, dude, people will come up to me and, and talk to me like I'm not well paid. I negotiated my own contract. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with what I'm getting paid. And if I go out and win the fights, my next negotiation, 
I'll make more. Mm -hmm. That's how it works, and that's how it should work. It is, yeah. I mean, if if you're not ready to work for it, in my opinion, like there are guys that have been working for it that are complaining that are justified. But then there are people that are like, they'll win one fight, and then they'll be like, you know what? Let me take a seat back. You know, I, they'll see other people talking about money, in my opinion, and they'll. Just trying to jump on that narrative. Yeah, it's like you're hurting the people that really need to get paid, right? Like Jake Paul, like if you really want to help these fighters out, help the people that are actually working for it. Well, how about how about start a promotion and you pay them better? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I start mean, a promotion and you pay them better. They said and, right. And I'll be the first guy that if if something doesn't work out with the UFC, I'll come make more money for you too, Jake Paul. Because mm -hmm. I'll go out there and I'll fight and I'll do I'll hold up my end of the bargain. But I just I don't understand where these people are coming from. There's long, long standing not been much money in this sport, and there's more and more now than there used to be. If you would have told me three years ago, four years ago, when, when I was just getting wins in the UFC, that I'd be making what I'm making right now, I'd be like, what am I, the champion of the world? I, I didn't think that it was possible. But Jake Paul's the ultimate version of the keyboard warrior because he can fight. That's oh, the problem. He's, he's a virtue signaling goofball, <laughs> and you know that he doesn't really care about these people. <laughs> He doesn't really care it's all about, about boosting what's going his brand. On. It's all about boosting his brand. And good on him. I'm not mad at him. I think he's good for boxing. But dude, come on. Like let's let's and I, I've seen that dude fight some MMA fights. I would tune in. I'd be more than happy to, to watch you fight some fights. Another thing, and this is my last piece on this, all these people bitching about fighter pay and they're stealing every single fight. Yep. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Buy the pay-per-view, motherfucker. You want to see us get paid more? Buy the pay-per-views, you goofs. And I feel them. It's expensive. Yeah. Hey, and they just increased the price even more. We're living in an expensive time, you yeah. know? And and listen, I was Gas ain't cheap. Gas ain't cheap. Ain't nothing cheap, right? What do we do? We got to keep on pressing forward. You want to you want to complain about fighter pay? Go for it, but make sure you're the one pay, uh, paying for the pay-per-views as well. And then you got some legs to stand on. Most of these goofs, not a chance in the world. Yeah, they're stealing everything, and then then they're then they're typing up, trying to virtue signal. Yeah, the fighters deserve more pay. Shut your fucking mouth. Why don't you tip me then? Yeah. You think I deserve more pay? I, 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 I'll no. Shoot, I'll, 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 I'll shoot you my Venmo. I'll shoot you my Venmo. Uh, yeah. I'll shoot you my PayPal. You think I deserve more? I agree. Go on and tip. Yo, me. yo, honestly, that's not like you know waiters get tipped out for great service, yeah, right? Yeah. You just perform so well. That's not a bad. Plug your Venmo and be like, hey, if you think I fought well, send me a tip. Yeah, let's go. Let's let's show, go. Let, I, the I'm, UFC should I'm, even show it on the screen on I'm the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tip your boy. Go on and, and put a little extra cash in my pocket. I would be happy to spend it on some football cards or something ridiculous. So, yeah, yeah. Why not? Hey. Oh, my God. We just came up with That's a crazy a idea. idea. Yeah. And can you tell me a little bit more about what you're doing with the cards? Because I always see that you're on Instagram Live, yeah. breaking packs. Uh, can you tell me a little bit so, more about that? You know, with the sports card thing, I've long been a, a collector of sports cards. And when the pandemic hit, I kind of dug out my collection, started going through it. And it seemed like a lot of other people were getting into it. I got back into it. I went after, you know, I, was, I went in hard because I'm an LSU guy, a Saints fan, LSU fan. So Joe Burrow, number one pick. And I was like, man, I'm going to stack me up some Joe Burrow rookie cards. And let me tell you something. I got, I got me a motherfucking collection. One day my Joe Burrow collection is going to put Penelope through college. <laughs> I promise you that. No joke. So, uh, yeah. I, I All enjoy he has to do is win like a couple of Super Bowls and then... You it starts with this next Sunday, right? So uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a sports card collector, sports memorabilia collector. And... I just so happened to be able to get involved. I, I'm here on this stage. I was able to reach out to Panini. They put me in the sets. Uh, they should put me in this year's set too. I, I don't know, the guy with athletes relation, Alex, I got a bone to pick with you, son, because I should be in this year's set signing too. So uh, yeah, it's, it's just something I really enjoy. It keeps my mind off things. I mean, I'm about to go upstairs and break cards right now because that's what I like to do. You do it on TikTok or? Uh, I just started a TikTok. I am going to start uh, posting videos on TikTok. I'm trying to get more into the, the sphere of TikTok and, and these media things. Uh, I recently started my own YouTube channel that's mostly dedicated towards cards and fist fights. So, Danger Things LLC, I'm going to drop a video today. Oh, I have I'm going to drop a video today. Uh, Kind of, kind of yesterday's workout. I also drop a vlog about my weight cut tonight. So, y'all be on the lookout. Go ahead and, and uh, hit that subscribe, like, comment, everything in between, and 
yeah, let's get it going. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I'm a I'm a sports car guy. So. Yeah, I mean, I see like a lot of these people just spending hours opening cars. Like people open oh, Pokemon they're, cars. They're making a killing too. Yeah, yeah the like, guys that are opening the cars are the ones making like, the money. I like, and they'll have like 200k people watching them. And I'm like, 200, <laughs> 200. I'm like, I post like legit valuable content. Yeah, you do. And then it's like five people watching. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I mean, and then there's this guy just using his hand, not even his face, his hands are just opening cards yeah. and he's talking to the mic. Oh yeah, well, what are you gonna pull? Pikachu, Pikachu! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it's crazy. So like, if you can get your sports card, like you could be opening, showing off your Joe Burrow, people be like, oh my God, that's Joe Burrow. That's you right. Know? Hey, I've been you know, I do have my top five Joe Burrow. It was my first video on on my uh, YouTube channel. My favorite five, not my top five, because uh, we, we got some valuable ones that I can't I can't show everybody everything. But uh, we got some big ones, so yeah, y'all go check it out. I got, I got some more content going, and it's one of those things, you know, like I'm kind of learning as I go. I've got a guy that's helping me uh, edit the edit the stuff, and, and we're all we're growing, we're learning, we're growing. It's it's not a finished product, mm -hmm. but you know, a hundred videos from now. 100,000 subscribers from now, we'll be better at it. So you guys, you know, big things have small beginnings. Right, speaking of Super Bowl Sunday, I mean, obviously you're an LSU fan. Uh, you're rooting for Joe Burrow, but I'll, me, I'm not. I'm gonna keep it real. I always waited for Matt Stafford to get that first ring. Yeah, that's fair. You know, man's been living in the slums of Detroit. No, no offense yeah. to Detroit, but you know, he he had Calvin, he had everything, and he didn't win it. And now with the Rams, he's got that shot. I mean. Listen, if Joe Burrow takes the L, I'm not like, I hope it's like an L where he learns stuff, right? Yeah. Like how Patty Mahomes learned from Tom Brady. Yeah. So like, you know, I, if he wins, it's, I, I feel like, you know, with Tom Brady retiring, it's the beginning that, of the era. That's what's so great about this, this game, right? It's compelling either way. Of course, I'm a Joe Burrow guy. It's easy to go from who dat to who day, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm, I'm rooting for the Bengals, but I just want to see a good game. Uh, my, my little girl's also turning two. February 13th, so it's going to be a Penelope Bowl, a Super Bowl, and hopefully a uh, winner's circle where we're, we're celebrating a victory type of night. So that's that's what we're hoping for. Awesome, and the last question for me, why is Matt Snell the better looking Aaron Phillips? Why am I the, I mean, it's pretty self Or is it is it the other way around? Is yeah. Aaron Phillips the worst looking Aaron Matt Snell? Aaron Phillips is a poor man's Matt Schnell. There is no doubt. He's a little taller. I'll give him that. But as far as like looks, classic good looks, you know, silver tongue, everything in between, I'm the guy. Yeah, I think Phillips. it depends on who you ask. I'm an Aaron Phillips guy, you know. <laughs> I think he's a, a better looking danger. Aaron personally, Phillips, personally. Aaron Phillips wishes. Now, I have been told that Aaron's a little nicer than me, and I, I really can't uh, can't combat that. I, I got a little venom in me, you know. We're from, I mean, it is what it is, that's right? right? That's right. The nickname so, is pretty good too, the Dragon. Yeah. Oh, definitely, the Dragon. Yeah, I gave him that. Yeah, <laughs> so there for a long time, it, it, it was the model, and everybody was like, the "Bro, model. you're not even that good looking," you know. Listen, if my nickname was the model, people would be like, "Yeah, that's right." <laughs> All right, awesome, Matt. Uh, Do you have anything to say to the fans out there watching? Hey guys, tune in. You know, it's a uh, tough fight. Tough fight. Alex Perez, great competitor. I look forward to testing myself. I, I shine under the brightest lights. I shine when I fight the best guys. So, y'all tune in. And I've been saying it all week. I ain't a four to one underdog to any man on God's green earth. So if you're a betting man, go on and hit that money line. I'm in there. Uh, I, I I feel good about things. You know, uh, victory never promised. Max effort guaranteed every single time. Y'all already know. Thank you. Awesome.